You know what that means? I have to change my drum head. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to replace my drum head because my small tom drum head tore like a couple of days ago or so. So I needed to buy another one. And so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to teach you all how to do it. Even from, from an unprofessional like me. So this is how the tom looks like. Or the drum head. Make some noise, but... No, we want a good sound. We want a good sound. So yeah, no, we need to change those. The first step of even taking this stuff out of this whole process, we need to we need to detense, detension these these lug nuts. Take out the head. So we'll do that step first. You can either do it with a drum key or if you have a tool, whichever works. So you just take out the lug nuts. Now that the lug nuts are removed, then you just take out the hoop. And of course, the torn drum head. What I recommend is to take out the, the tom out of its rack, mounting rack, because it, it's much easier to replace the head, you know, install the head, put on the lug nuts. It just makes the whole process easier. So now we're gonna put on the head now, the new one. So I have here a pinstripe 12 inch Remo drum head for this 12 incher. Look at this beautiful so my personal preference is that I have the logos of any drum head which I've only used Remo and for my snare Evans See, I like to have them in the center so there are six there are six lug nuts so I like to this is the very front so I like to keep it there so now just a little tight. I mean, one more time. Just line, line it up, the center. Yeah, like that. And then now we're gonna hand tighten, finger tighten the lug nuts. One thing I forgot to say is that we need to put on the hoop first before putting the lug nuts. Common sense. And basically, just tighten it as much as possible with your own hands, with your own fingers, up to the point where you can't tighten them anymore. That's that's where the finger tighten tension is pretty much at max. And there are some cases that you might have to use your drum key to tighten it. You just need the lug nut to touch the hoop. So I have one lug nut that's not, you know, twisting because of how it is with my own finger. So I need to use a drum key and the very bottom of the lug nut needs to touch the rim of the hoop. So then the next step is to pretty much make sure your finger tighten, you know, go one through one by one. The next step is you press into the drum head so all the adhesive, all the glue that keeps the material together can like spread out and then that way it'll break in even more than just by hitting the, the, the head. And you should hear some cracking, and that's the adhesive. The next step is to finger tighten. Make sure that the lug nuts are finger tightened again. Some of them will be a little loose. 
because you put pressure or you put force onto a head with your own hands. Now we need to tune it with the drum key. I like to go one turn full, uh, one full turn first, and then you go from there, basically. And I like to do the cross start pattern, so then it will be like this. So then it will be like, from right here, going across, then down to this lug nut, cross, to this next one over here, and across. So I have these, these two already at one full turn. So then what the last thing you need to do is when you're tuning your drums, you need to, well, it, honestly, you can have any kind of preference. You can have it where the, the bottom side of your drum, you can have it, you know, the same pitch of the front on the top head if you want. If you want a different sound, a totally different sound that nobody likes or even wants to hear, maybe you like it. It just depends on your own preference. Low, you want a bright tone, you want a, you, you just want any kind of tone you want. It doesn't matter as long as you like it, really. But I like to keep my, my tones at the same pitch. And over time, yeah, they will, you know, detune themselves. They get lazy from there and they just play. Oh well, whatever. So then I tuned my drum and it actually sounds good and now I realize that my my middle tom my floor tom are detuned so I need to do that but you know what this is uh this is in you know how to video so I showed you all how to do it and that's pretty much it but you know the sounds do not have to be perfect they don't they don't have to be the exact same pitch as long as it sounds good to you that's all that matters so if you're a drummer and you're having trouble with the sound that you want from like Lars Ulrich's kit from and justice for all um, tr try if you want but no one can have their own no one can have anybody else's sound you can have your sound that's it so no one plays drums like you no one can sound like you that's it all right well thank you for for watching this video and stay tuned for the next one.